of reciting Surah Waqia brings the baraka in the risk is this correct and Sahih Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu there's a many scholars who has instructed uh, into their sect uh, Muslims have to recite a Surah Waqiyah in order to have the risk, in order to have find a job and to recite that in every night, uh, recite Surah the Mulk and to recite Surah al Waqiyah and the reciting of Surah Waqiyah will bring a barakah and if reciting so many times bring a more barakah to you. This hadith is zaif, it is not authenticated and this is not a uh, sahih. Uh, the the way to bring the risk has uh, several ways the prophet sallallahu uh, alaihi has instructed to us uh, to stay in our uh, uh, stick with your uh, five times prayer the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has instructed us to stay in the wadu and uh, do a five times prayer on time as it has been it is being instructed in the surah in the surah was number 103 in the salat al mukuta uh, pray on time as allah has uh, ordained to you and then try to stay in the wadu as much as possible and uh, do a halal risk that's that's more important make sure you're getting a halal risk and the most important to that is to stay in the taqwa like for example uh, uh, protecting your eyes protecting your ears protecting your tongue uh, from the haram especially uh, from the eyes and uh, especially from the ears and in the, among the both the most important is um, protecting your eyes actually looking at something haram that is causing the problem and uh, that is being decreasing the risk so these are the things you stick with that and continue making a dua to allah because maybe allah will has a better future for you maybe it's a life trial but if it is a trial you have to be patient and just continue the dua and try to stick to the uh, taqwa as much as possible do a lot of zikr that, that is more more important and also uh, the prophet who wants to increase his wealth and uh, who wants to increase his zikr, do a lot of uh, astaghfar uh, zikr as as much as possible so when do we do a zikr of astaghfar that means stay away from what is forbidden and you're trying to ask allah oh yeah allah please forgive me and uh, fulfill my uh, my desire what i require a halal so please uh, accept my forgiveness and forgive me my sins or you can restate uh, just astaghfirullah 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 you can do astaghfirullah bayman kulli zambayin wa ladu bala but not something what is instructed by the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that the hadith is zahib but, but rather we try to stay away from what is zahib and not trying to go uh, into that but rather stick to what is being uh, proven as sahih